don't be sad. Hmm? Let's read. Wow. Read for fun. Hi. Welcome back to Read for Fun. Today's read aloud is The Fish and His Puffy Temper. Written by Barbara Pink. Illustrated by Alvin Addy. It was Puffy's special day. He had decided he wouldn't be angry with the other fish and hoped to make friends. He hurried over to the coral slide in the playground, excited. But there was a cue. Puffy puffed up, shouting angrily, Why do I have to wait? Frightened, the other fish swam away. Puffy slid down the slide. It didn't feel good alone. A seahorse was watching him and slowly swam over. Hello, I'm Cece. Who are you? Leave me alone. Puffy grumbled and swam away. But Cece didn't give up. She watched the balled up fish calm down. When Puffy returned to his original size, she swam over. Can I sit with you? Why? Puffy asked, surprised. What happened? Cece asked. This always happens when I'm angry. I lose my temper, turn into a ball, and everyone swims away. Why do you get angry? Things happen that I dislike. Can you try to not let them make you angry? It never works. What's your name? The seahorse smiled. Puffy, he whispered, looking at Cece. Puffy, the other fish swim away because they are scared of your anger. I know, but how do I control it? I want friends, but I get angry so easily. I'll help, Cece declared. Let's visit Miss Carcradon. Puffy felt grateful. No one had tried to help him before. When they arrived at Miss Carcardon's, the shark was looking at the plants by her house and painting them on a canvas. Tiny fish played with the leaves. Hello, Miss Carcardon. These are beautiful, Cece exclaimed. Thank you, said the shark. Oh, go away, you cheeky fish. Find another lunch, she smiled, shooing them away. How can you be patient when those fish were getting in the way of your painting? Cece asked. Puffy lifted his head at her question. I pay attention to my feelings. When I notice my anger signs, I try to calm myself down so I don't Get angry, Miss Carcradon explained. What are your anger signs? Puffy asked shyly. My heart beats faster. How do you feel when your anger starts? I don't know, Puffy shrugged. Think about it. The shark looked at the fish firmly. I don't know, Puffy shouted, then paused. Oh, right now I'm feeling angry. My heart's beating fast. I'm hot and breathing faster. Miss Carcradon smiled. Next time you recognize those, congratulate yourself. Just spotting these signs can help you stop feeling angry. I will remember. Thank you. Cece and Puffy returned to the playground, but the other fish still didn't want to play with Puffy. He puffed up right away. You forgot to think about your feelings, Cece reminded him. Let's visit my uncle and see if he can help. He has many baby seahorses. Chaos reigns there for sure. Puffy liked the idea and calmed down again. They heard the family as they arrived. The ocean was filled with laughter from little seahorses, but then... There was a crash. Enough! Everybody out! 
Uncle Winnie the seahorse shouted. Thirty little seahorses streamed outside, laughing and frolicking. Hello, Uncle, Cece greeted him. Is everything okay? Uncle Winnie appeared in the doorway. Hi, Cece, I'm fine. These rascals were jumping around and broke my favorite glass. Uncle said with a sad smile. Then his face brightened. I'm glad to see you. Who is your friend? Puffy blushed. He's Puffy. We met at the playground. Cece introduced him. Nice to meet you, Uncle Winnie. Your little seahorses are adorable. Puffy waved. Oh, yes, I love his little mischief makers. Puffy was surprised. He'd expected complaints, but he only saw happiness on his face. How can you stay calm when they've broken your favorite glass? Puffy asked. I count to ten slowly. It helps me let go of my anger. The seahorse dad explained. Interesting, Cece said. We'll go and play now. Bye, Uncle. The two friends swam back to the playground. Some fish were playing with a frisbee. Can we join you? asked Cece. It went well. Everybody had fun. But then Puffy couldn't catch the frisbee. Why did you throw it so hard? he shouted, puffing up his face red. The others were so scared they swam away faster than ever. You didn't think about your feelings or count to ten, Cece reminded Puffy. She had another idea. Hmm, let's visit Mr. DeCapata. They found the crab sitting in his garden with closed eyes, taking deep breaths. Hello, Mr. DeCapata. Are you okay? Puffy asked. Smiling, he opened his eyes. Oh, yes, Puffy. I just needed to calm down after an argument. How? When I'm angry, I close my eyes and take deep breaths. I now have three tools. I must be able to do it now. Puffy thought excitedly. When they were back at the playground, Puffy wanted to slide. But the queue was too long again. Angry, Puffy blew up so big everyone rushed away before he had time to shout. Puffy sadly fled home. Mom Fish found him in his room, looking at the stars. What's wrong, Puffy? I tried not to get angry. But I still puffed up. Nobody wants to play with me. I get angry too. It's a normal emotion to have. But it's important to learn to cope with it. Momfish tried to reassure him. She told him about how she got puffed up and coped with anger. It takes practice, but you can do it. I learned three different ways to control my anger, but it still didn't work. What were they? Mom Fish asked. First, notice my anger signs. Second, count to ten slowly. Third, take deep breaths. They sound like wonderful tools. You need to remember to use them. Here, put this band on your fin. When you're about to puff up, flick it and think of me and your three steps. This will help you overcome your anger like I overcame mine. Puffy suddenly felt confident. If mom can do it, I can too. In the morning, he swam so fast to the playground, he created lots of bubbles with his fin. Waving to Cece, 
he went to the slide and waited his turn. Later, Puffy heard the ice cream truck, but when he finally found it, all the ice cream had gone. Oh no! The other fish swam away in fear. Puffy felt anger in his body. Noticing the band on his fin, he flicked it, as Mom Fish suggested, and remembered the three steps. Step 1. Heart beating fast, feeling hot, and breathing faster. He spotted his anger signs, but his anger was still growing. Step 2. One, two, three. Puffy counted slowly, but his body was still full of anger. Step 3. Deep breathing. The small fish concentrated on his breathing. He felt his body relaxing. He wasn't puffing up. His anger had gone. Puffy had done it! The fish returned curious. I'll get ice cream next time. Puffy smiled at the other fish. They smiled back, surprised and relieved. I could share my ice cream with you if you want, said an angelfish. Thank you, said Puffy. You've done it! I'm so proud, shouted Cece, giving him an ice cream. I saved one for you just in case. Thank you for helping and being my friend, he grinned. Puffy was happy. He had learned to manage his temper. He now had friends and wouldn't play alone in the playground again. And that's the end of our story. If you like this read aloud, don't forget to subscribe, follow, like, and share. And come back for more stories here on Read for Fun.